Kyle Abbott stars to deliver big blow to Somerset title hopes. Kyle Abbott took a career best 9 for 40 before James Vince's unbeaten 102 ensured title hopeful Somerset will face a tricky chase to beat Hampshire. South Africa paceman Abbott ran through the Somerset order on the second morning to leave them 142 all out, a first innings deficit of 54. The visitors then fought back with the ball at the Aegeus Bowl, reducing Hampshire to 45 for 6, but Vince, supported by Abbott, took them to 176 for 8, a lead of 230. So on day 3 it was Hampshire to try and add as many more runs as possible, and James Vince was picking up where he left off, finding boundaries. Before long, Abbott and Vince had passed their 100 partnership and were putting Hampshire into a commanding position. But the breakthrough would come as James Vince departed for 142, caught by Davis off the bowling of Overton, Hampshire's captain walking off to fine applause. The innings was wrapped up soon after as Abbott was the last wicket to fall, gone for 25 as he tried a lofted cover drive, Somerset requiring a tough target of 281 runs to win. and they would get off to a fairly solid start as the openers moved to 50 without loss. That's the sort of base that Somerset needed in this tense run chase. Davis and VJ showcasing their resilience as well as finding the odd boundary and they would move to lunch without a wicket falling. Somerset 62 for no loss, the target of 281 still some way off. The afternoon would get underway with Somerset still needing another 219 runs for a vital win. But with this opening partnership moving through the 80s, the breakthrough arrived for Hampshire and it had to be him, Kyle Abbott with the wicket, VJ gone for 29, 10 scalps in the match for Abbott. And there was no stopping Abbott as he removed the captain next, Tom Abel squared up on the back foot trying to defend and he got a thin edge through to the keeper. Then the third wicket of the innings, Liam Dawson the bowler doing the damage, Hildreth gone for a duck. Davis was seeing partners fall at the other end, but he was gritting his teeth as he moved to his half century, 50 off 86 balls. But wickets were tumbling, Abbott with his 12th wicket of the match as he trapped Banton in front, Somerset 95 for 4. Abbott was utterly relentless, his 13th wicket arriving as Bartlett was undone with a Jaffa first ball, best ever first class figures for Kyle Abbott. The hat-trick ball would be survived but the very next ball another wicket, Davis hanging the bat outside off stump and edging to the keeper, three wickets in the space of four balls, remarkable from Abbott. Somerset were struggling big time and there was no let up. Abbott pinning Don Bess LBW for a duck, one of the all-time great bowling feats for Hampshire this. Somerset collapsing from 86 for no loss to 100 for 7. Abbott did have a short rest, but on his return he found his 16th wicket of the match, Overton gone for 10 runs. No Hampshire bowler has ever taken 17 in a match, could he get one more? Well, we would have to wait until the evening as T was reached with Somerset 141 for 8. And it didn't take long into the evening for another wicket to fall. But it wasn't Abbott the bowler, he was the player taking the catch though. Dawson with the delivery, Hampshire one wicket away from seriously harming Somerset's title challenge. And the match was sealed by the main man, Kyle Abbott ripping out the off stump of Josh Davey. Hampshire beating Somerset by 136 runs, Kyle Abbott finishing with the best match haul ever recorded by a Hampshire bowler. 17 wickets in the match for 86 runs, they are the best figures in first class cricket since Jim Laker took 19 for 90 against Australia in 1956. The result leaves Somerset almost certainly needing to beat nearest rivals Essex in their final match.